Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day, or at least start to your day. I'm about to take some pure aminos, some fish oils. I'm gonna start the morning workout right after I put away some dishes. my new workout room. Obviously it's not completed. I need some more floor mats. Waiting on some equipment. A little bit bigger than the one in my old house, but we're still getting a workout in today. <music> cook up some protein pancakes. Best meal for any time of the day. Lunch, dinner, breakfast, brunch, late night snacks. Wouldn't be complete without chocolate chips. Hope y'all know that. smallest whisk. Perfect protein pancake. Mmm. 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 Now we're about to have a conversation. It comes the time in the vlog where I give you guys a quote, give you my, the story of how it pertains to me and what I think it should mean for you. The quote today is, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I think I've heard this from two or three kind of, I guess, motivational speakers. I think Eric Thomas is the first one that I heard it from. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Everybody wants the nice cars, the nice house, the easy lifestyle, the fancy lifestyle but nobody wants, to, nobody wants to die. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the long hours at their job. They don't want to put in the overtime at their job. They don't want to put in the hours reading, learning, expanding their minds, not, edu not necessarily in a format like school, but reading books about why you are the way you are, why your parents are the way they are, why other people around you are the way they are, how hanging around negative negative types of people will produce a negative life. Just just simple life stuff that, in my opinion, we should have some type of class on in school, but we don't. 
and they wonder why everybody is so depressed, nobody knows how to do the things that they need to know how to do in order to get to the places that they want to get to in life. So how this pertains to me and my girlfriend in this instance is she's 22 years old, I'm 24 years old. We recently bought a house that neither of us ever thought that we could afford and this early on in life without hitting the lottery or doing something stupid to get some huge lump sum of money we've been able to accomplish that dream what are you doing ellie's over there trying to get a butterfly through the window she's hella funny both of us we work long hours we put in long hours of reading learning talking to people that are in the places that we want to be learning about life, learning about ourselves emotionally, learning about finances, what's the best way to get to where you want to be financially, what's the best way to get to the place emotionally you want to be, how to have the types of friendships and relationships that you want to have. We both put in all that work. We both have jobs that we enjoy. She's a nanny, I'm a machinist. She, for example, for her, her hard work, she works 50 plus hours a week regularly. She just got done had being an in-home nanny for these people for about a month and a half, almost two months. She was there almost 24 seven. Obviously she had a couple breaks where she'd be able to go out and have herself some time. We both, it was a little hard for us because we didn't get a lot of time see each other because I switched to swing shift. In order to take an opportunity that was given to me, I had to switch to swing shift. So we worked complete opposite schedules on top of her working almost 24 seven, and be working 50 plus hours a week and going to school. It's kind of hard on our relationship, but it wasn't, it didn't affect us negatively. Like we both understood where we were, we understood what it was, and we understood what we needed to do for each other in order to help the other get through that that point she goes back to dying and that quote everybody wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die we we're both working towards having the finances to purchase a place like this and having the finances to where we weren't having to stress about money but yeah we both put in the work at home reading learning examining ourselves being very self-aware of what self-aware of why we feel what we feel why say like why we're stressed at, a certain, at any point in time, a lot of people tend to take out their stress on whoever is readily available, whether that be your partner, your best friend, or maybe your parents, which is like in my sister's case, in my opinion, which is why she's always a salty being, which I, I don't hate her for it, but I think that's where that comes from. She's always stressed about money and stressed about her personal life, so instead of dealing with those issues, she takes it out on most of the people that are around her, people are readily available. We don't do that. We recognize why we're stressed or why we're angry or why we're sad, why we're emotional, etc. We talk about it and kind of let those feelings go by. Something I learned from Tony Robbins is the three biggest the three biggest triggers to like stress, fear, anxiety is loss less never. Whenever you do something, they do something something happens where you feel you'll have less love, less money, less freedom, etc. You're gonna feel stressed, you're gonna feel sad, you're gonna feel angry, depending on the circumstance. Lost, same thing, lost love, lost money, lost whatever, you're gonna feel the same way. Never, whenever something happens, you feel like you'll never be able to do this, you'll never be able to get that, you'll never be able to have the type of person in your life that you're looking for, you feel like, Things in your relationship or your uh, intimate life never work out with the types of people you want. And that typically those three things, whenever you feel those are gonna push you to not take the actions towards getting what you want. You've created your own self-belief or self-story that this isn't for me, I can never have this. So you're not gonna do the things that are gonna facilitate you getting what you want or having what you want or being what you want. I have very, very few friends that have this same mindset that I do. Two of their names is Johnny and Key Shale. They are 
achieving their goals. They're making the changes they need to make in, for, in order to achieve the life that they want, the lifestyle that they want, the relationship that they want with each other and others. They're eliminating the negative people around them and around their kid. They're, they're in my opinion, a model couple to kind of push towards being for any of you that watch this video. There's a lot of people that watch this video or people that I know. You can look at them or you can look at me and Brianna as what I think are examples of good, caring, real love, not situational forced love because we have a kid together or we have a house together or where we have some type of circumstance that's keeping us from leaving one another. We're just here because we feel like we have to be. That's not us, that will never be us. Whether we get married, whether we don't, whether we have 10 houses, whether we have one house, whether we are homeless, that's never gonna be our situation. We're always gonna be the type of people that go for what they want and communicate to the other that we're not meeting each other's needs and then we work towards fixing that. So, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. If you want to go to heaven, you need to put in the work on yourself, on your mind, in order to gain the information you need to get to the places that you want. Because I can tell you, it's out there and it's fucking free. Look on YouTube, look on Google. There's a lot of bloggers that are probably where you want to be in life, whether that financially, emotionally, relationally, doesn't matter. There's lots of people out there that have already achieved the things that you think are impossible. So find that person or those few people Follow them religiously, look at what they do, not necessarily what they say, and model their behavior, model their habits, and you will eventually get to where you want to be. But you got to put in the work. It's not easy. It does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of effort. But one of the things that Eric Thomas says is your body reproduces what you do regularly. He talks, to us, talks about a story about Michael Jordan being in uh, one of the big NBA games and he's sick he still scores way higher than the average number of points any player scores during any given game and he has the flu he's still sick he still shows up and his reason for why Michael Jordan achieved that is because your body reproduces what you do regularly if you without even thinking about it if you go to the gym regularly five days a week seven days a week three days a week it will eventually, as long as you stick to it, it will come naturally. Like it'll be put into your own daily routine. Your body's not gonna let you avoid doing that without making you feel some type of stress or unfulfillment, like, or kind of like a feeling of failure that you didn't get to it. I've experienced this. All my friends I've talked to that work out experienced this. And we've had these conversations like, hey bro, I haven't worked out in three days and I'm, I feel like shit. I was like, hey, me too. I figured out that when I don't work out because I'm so used to it, I feel like garbage. Like I'm tired, you would think it'd be the opposite. You don't work out, you'd have more energy. Not, not the case. I feel tired, I feel sluggish, I feel not depressed, but I feel like sad. And you don't know where those feelings are coming from, but it's from not accomplishing what you normally do or what you set out to do. So that's your body's way of telling you that you need to do these things. This is what I want you to do. And I hope that you do them so I don't have to feel this way. You don't have to feel this way. And the more that you do it, the easier it becomes because then you're gonna recognize what I just told you and you're not gonna wanna feel that way. Therefore, you're gonna go do the things that you need to do. That could include, it could be any task, reading, working out, eating right, same thing with eating wrong. If I eat like shit for one day, one full day, two full days, a full week, then I feel exactly like I do when I don't work out because that's not where I want to be. My body knows it and my body's not used to me acting that way. So it puts me in a state of, of stress, a state of fear. And that's how it makes me, it pushes me to do what I need to do. I feel the same way when I don't read and I haven't been reading the last couple of days and I, I can feel it. So put in the work, put in the work on yourself, put in the work on your mind, put in the work at your career, put in the work on the people around you. Spread the positivity that 
you're bringing into your life by learning all these new things and the people that kind of write you off, it is what it is. If they, if they don't want to hear it, then they don't want to hear it. Don't waste your time. There's a lot of people that I've tried to, I'm not going to say tried to help, but they ask me for advice. I give them the advice. They don't follow it. Therefore, they stay in that same depressed, salty, upset, unhappy state that they're in because they don't change what they're doing. They don't want to put in the work. It's always, oh, I didn't have time to do it. I don't have time. I work too much. I work more than most of my friends, more hours than most of my friends on top of doing it. Working out every day on top of everything else that I do outside of my career, including learning more about my career and training more for my career at home. And I still find all the time in the world to have fun with my family, have fun with my girlfriend, have fun with my lovely cat. You may just have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep, which if that's going to help you get to where you want to be, in my opinion, that's perfectly fucking fine. But this video is going to be related to an Instagram post. I'm going to post same same time I post to this video today. I'm going to post that Instagram post. The screenshot or the thumbnail of this video is going to be a picture of what I'm going to post on the Instagram along with a kind of shorter version of this story written out on the Instagram post. So follow me on Instagram, Devante underscore Garbit. And you'll see a lot more G pics, inspirational quotes, links to these types of videos. And I hope you subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this. I will be filming a house tour video at some point. We're still kind of moving in, things are hectic. Moved in like a week ago and had family over to visit the very the day after we moved in. So it's been crazy trying to unpack and get the rooms that they're gonna be staying in ready. I just got my new office slash studio set up. Got two 4K monitors, brand new PC. Way better than anything I've ever had before. And that's all because of the stuff that I just talked to you about in this video. Putting in the work, putting in the time, putting in the effort. It's not hard, but it's not easy. And the things that you do are hard now. If you persist and you continue to do them daily, they become second nature. Like I said, your body reproduces what you do regularly. You won't even have to think about it. And once you get to that next level, It'll be even easier because now you have this information on how to get to that next level. I hope you guys are all going to have a great day. I know that you will. And don't forget to adapt, change, and grow.